Hi everybody, today we're going to be doing a practice video on John Stenson's number two. It is a very popular jam tune that you'll hear um, in Everett and in Midland, and definitely if Rick Thumb is attending the festivals, you will hear it played often. Uh, it is in the key of A, it's in 4-4 time, and it has two parts, the A part and the B part, which it's a common, it's a typical fiddle tune, so your A part and B part are both repeated. So for the A part, we will start here on this A. It's the 15, 14, so my little A is here, and my A is here. And then we'll be playing the A part up in this, this neck of the woods here, between A and D. But I'm going to go ahead and play this through, and then we'll break it down. that mostly with the alternate hands. Um, this is a common fiddle tune that you will be able to do a lot of droning with it and I will play that as we um, do the practice after we've, we've gone through the parts. So the A part again as I say starts here on the A and you're going to be just playing to start it's going to be the A to the C sharp to the B to the A and then we're going to jump up to the D and back down again okay so I will play that through slowly that through again. Okay, and on the B part, we are going to come up here to the E, and you're going to use the E and the C sharp, and then we're going to do a scale down from the F sharp, coming all the way down. Now I always say this is where we need to keep our hammers loose, because you want to, especially when you're playing this tune fast, 
If your hammers are too stiff, you're going to have a hard time taking that all the way down. So this is a really good tune to be able to get going with those hammers and keep them loose in your fingers. Always try to keep that hammer technique, okay? It's really important, but um, especially on those runs. Okay, so we are going to start with the, the E and to the C sharp. Go up to the F sharp and work our way down. So you'll notice we do that pattern three times. The E to the C sharp, the scale down. We do that three times. And then we have that last final ending. I'm going to go through that again. So now I'm going to go ahead and put it together, and I will put it together with the alternate hands, and then the second time through I will pick up the pace a little bit and I will be adding the droning. Now you'll notice that with the when I go into doing the um, this version with the droning, is I'm going to be playing most of the melody with my right hand, and letting my my left hand just be able to do some droning.
So that is John Stenson's number two. Have fun.